Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Artifact Highlights. I've been out for a little bit, but we're back here with a new one. I'm actually going to unbox this uh, new relic, if you want to call it, on camera. I don't really like doing the unboxing, but hey, I'm cheap to get uh, some cheap views. So. <laughs> so this one I purchased as a last minute idea. I initially bought, I will show what I'm talking. My initial thing I bought were these tickets here, old Pittsburgh Maulers tickets. Uh, there's actually three of them here in the pack, but I have taped it down so I can display it in the wrapping just to show the top one. Two were for the game against the New Jersey Generals, and then there's one actually underneath uh, for the Philadelphia Stars. However, that one only has the uh, rem uh, only have half this ticket, and the stub's already been torn off. So I got this ticket for the Maulers, and while looking around for other items to buy before I closed the website out for the day, I found these items in here. So. I'm going to go right in right now, and hopefully not break anything, do not bend, hopefully the mailman did not bend it. You might be noticing underneath, you can see that brown paper bag stuff that's covering the bottom of this package, that is a spoiler for the next uh, construction paper battlefield, which should be out in mid-August. So, get that cut. I'll go ahead and get too far. Now we watch as Spencer, uh, Spencer fails. At, look, look, I'm doing something you should not do. Cutting scissors toward you. Don't do this at home, people. Spencer Frog never recorded himself today. Stabbing himself on camera. That's wonderful. All right, let's rip this open. Put it on a nice cardboard. Oh, it's inside an air package, actually. We're just going to... Chuck that aside. Bubble wrap to play with while I'm bored. <laughs> Toss that away. And inside the envelope, another envelope. It never ends. All right, here we go. And this actually looks a little bit older. Okay, so this is actually part of the artifact itself, I do believe. If you look here in the corner, if it focuses, I'm going to cheat. Come on, focus. Might be hard to see there in a corner, but you can probably see on this end. These are taken March 20th, 1936, and these are of the St. Patty's Day flood, the infamous St. Patrick's Day flood of the Pittsburgh region. I did not know the envelope is actually to come with it. And inside, negatives. These are negatives. So, right, nothing yet, but don't worry here in one moment. So, uh, very briefly, I just want to talk about the uh, 36 Flood. Uh, for those that are not from the Pittsburgh region, you might not know what it's about, what, why is it so important. Uh, in March of 1936, after a very heavy winter uh, for Pittsburgh, there was a fine of all the snow. And it filled all these reservoirs and all these rivers, and it just started flooding the Pittsburgh region. It is one of the worst floods that ever occurred in western Pennsylvania. Uh, there's also people that consider it part of the Johnstown Flood of 1936. Uh, if you've ever heard of the famous Johnstown Flood of 1889, then there is the 36 Flood. However, the Johnstown Flood of 36 is, is technically part of the larger St. Paddy's Day Flood. Now, why this is so important to Pittsburgh history is because of the tremendous flooding that occurred in the region, the Army Corps of Engineers would begin constructing reservoirs and larger dams in the vicinity uh, to the west and the south of Pittsburgh. So you get the Connemaw Reservoir, you get the Loyal Hanna Reservoir, you get the Yakagani Reservoir, all sprung up from this, and many towns would actually be vacated because of the flooding of these valleys that make these flood control dams. All right, so like I said, these are photo negatives, not, you know, actual photographs, so it's kind of hard to see them. I'm going to try to get them. Uh, maybe use f uh, iPhone technology to make a negative into a positive. We'll see. But for right now, we're just going to do this. So you kind of make it out here. Here's the hillside. And you can see these two water towers in the distance. So I think this is how the photos supposed to go. And you can see the trees here. So this must be the original river line. And then you can see the water has completely covered the area. Let's see what this one is. Oh, that one's upside down. I think it goes this way. Here we go. We can see... 
If you can see closer, you can see a house over here with, I believe, a boat. You can see, is that a, that's another building that's like floating in the flood. And you can see some, looks like mills off into the distance. We'll go for this one here. can't tell which way this one goes. Assuming this way. I don't know. For this one you can see, uh, you can see on the porch there are people. Man, I'd really like to get these developed so you can actually see them much better. Again, you can see off the distance of the mill. Well, this one's a little freaky. And there again, you can see the houses off in the background and everything else completely covered in water. Ooh, this one's cool. Looks like something, like a barrel or something is in the yard as you can see over here. Well, in this one you can see must the water start to recede? The black back here, that must be the river returning to its original state. And you can just see everything, you can just see everything being destroyed. This house is on its side. This one's eerie. Oh, this one's very faded, actually. I didn't... This one's actually more like a positive, very faded photo. Here, I can't really make it out I think the guy is standing on what yeah he's standing in the water if you can see and again we're back at the house you can see the debris in the yard all over the place again I think those are the mills again in the background this one's also the belt very faded Does that help? I don't know. So some of these are very faded. Well, this one shows you some railroad tracks. You can see the buildings in the background. There's a railroad in the foreground. The water's still pretty high up. And this one, the I will show you some of them because some of them have been developed in the positives on the eBay site, on the eBay page I bought it from. And this one shows a boat, I think, washed ashore, and now the water is receding. And this one again shows the debris in the yard and looks like a lady here sitting in a rocking chair. And then here's this one. This one will show you, again kind of hard to see, but you can see them boat going to the house. This must have been taken from the house in the height during the height of the flood. And then the last one shows you a gentleman holding a bucket probably with some flood debris. So yeah, these are the artifacts I've now bought. Uh, these are all negatives. Hopefully the ones haven't been developed yet. I'll try to see if I can use some technology to make them, uh, you can see them easier, then I'll put them on at the, at the end of the video. So if you want to see any items, uh, any items and interest you'd like to see on this, just let me know. I have a whole room down below my feet, and I'm in my bedroom shooting this, down below my feet where I keep all my artifacts or as other people call them junk <laughs> it depends on who you are so if you want to see any more videos of artifact highlight let me know uh the next edition of construction paper battlefield should be coming out in mid to late august and we'll see you next time